Hey guys, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, then that means you selected the Care of Magical Creatures box for your Trash Panda treasure this time. Let's take a look, see what you got in your boxes, and I will walk you through how to put these fabulous creations together. All right, making bow truckles. Nice and flexible, they can hang on to coat collars, name tags, lanyards. We're gonna start out with some leaves, a whole skein of embroidery thread, and four short pipe cleaners. We're gonna start with these guys. So I want you to take three of your pipe cleaners, make sure they're all about the same length, right around. We wanna find the middle and we're gonna twist it couple of times. I think I did about five or six. Add a couple more twists towards the top here. Um, spread out the bottom. That's going to be your legs. Now we're going to add on what our arms are with that fourth pipe cleaner. And we'll wrap that around the earlier twist we made for the body twice. And then you're going to fold in the ends to make the arms double width of pipe cleaner. We've got our three on the top here, and we're gonna kind of keep twisting those around too. We're gonna bring over the leaves, and you're gonna kind of place them in between the pipe cleaners, and then use that third one to wrap around. So the embroidery thread will hold it on, but they'll, they'll kind of already be in position and should be kept pretty well in place by the pipe cleaners on the top of your guy there. Okay, then we're gonna take a look at our embroidery thread. And if you look carefully, you should see that there is a single end kind of coming out of one of the top or the bottom. And if you hold where those two pieces of paper are wrapped around and pull, it should very easily start to pull out. If it doesn't come easily, you've got the wrong end and you should look for another one like I just had to do. Um, and you wanna pull out but not cut, um, you know, an arm's length of embroidery thread. We're gonna lay it against the head there and we're just going to start wrapping around to cover up the fluff on those pipe cleaners will probably take, you know, two or three times around. Um, but if you're continuously kind of going up and down in a small area, and anytime you're at the end of a hand or the head or the feet, um, you'll also kind of go around. And now that I've kind of gone up to the top, I'm going to start wrapping back down. And like I said, that thread should pull out very easily. If it doesn't, you can just take those paper wrappers off um, and that'll let you kind of unravel it even easier. Um, and you're gonna use big circling movements, otherwise it gets stuck on those legs and those arms. That's okay. And next we're gonna go out and back in one of the arms. And then this middle section, we're going to kind of do some X's, some crosses above the arms and under the arms, going both directions. So bottom right to top left, and the other way, bottom left to top right. And then over that, we'll wrap horizontally again. So you're basically just trying to cover all of that floof on the pipe cleaners. Without it getting caught too much in the leaves and the legs. Now we're gonna go down one arm, back, and then we'll start going down the, the torso part. And my thread stopped pulling nicely, so I have removed the paper holders and just kind of 
have it in front of me loosely. Now for the legs, you're gonna do the same thing that you did to the arms, where you kind of double back the pipe cleaner. It's gonna make them just a little bit thicker, a little bit easier to wrap and keep the same consistency and body shape for your bow truckle. And as you can see, I'm going real loosely. It doesn't have to cover everything the first go round because you're gonna go back over it to finish covering all of the fluff. And we're basically gonna do that up and down all three of those legs. And when you've got everything covered, top to bottom at least, you know, down and back, you'll see that you have thread left and that's when you can kind of wrap loosely or tightly anywhere that you don't think is covered enough. You just kind of wrap your way to get to it and then wrap your way to cover it up. All right, when you feel like everything is pretty much covered enough, you may have some string left, you may not, either way is fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut that off. And I'm gonna have you uh, finish wrapping all the way to the end and then bring over some glue and just really coat the end of that um, from your, your Monster Book of Monsters um, container and just coat the little end of that. If you have any bits that hang off that you don't like, you do the same thing with that. Coat it with glue and then stick it. And as long as you let it completely dry, um, it'll keep those ends in place. And then I just took a, a black marker, decided kind of where I wanted the eyes to go, and just real lightly kind of dotting on there my two little eyes. And there is your bow truckle. Thank you for following along guys. I hope you had a lovely time putting together your Monster Book of Monsters and these little guys. I hope to see you back next week with our brand new subscription boxes for February, which are game themed. Thanks guys.